Good evening, beloved. We give glory to the Lord for giving us this day. We also thank Him for His mercies upon our lives. Today, I'll be speaking to you about the subject, the forces of life. The forces of life. And as usual, let me begin by asking you that, what is your ambition in life? How far do you want to go in life? But let me tell you this. I don't know what ambitions you have for yourself in life. But today I want you to understand that life will throw forces at you. Forces that only have the aim of distracting you from achieving your ambitions. These forces will maltreat you. They will test your limits. They will push you hard to give up on your ambitions and look down upon yourself. They will be there to block your visions. They will block your visions of accomplishing whatever ambitions that you've set for yourself. They are the forces that only comes with the purpose of distracting you so you don't achieve that ambition that you have for yourself. They will make you think that you failed, so accept that you are a failure. They will sometimes push you to taking risky decisions, decisions that under normal circumstances you wouldn't make. But these forces will push you to take those risky decisions. Decisions to give up. Decisions to look down upon yourself. Decisions to compare yourself to other people. And decisions to give up on your ambitions. That is the aim of these forces. They are the forces that we encounter from our peer pressure. They are the challenges that we encounter in our educational goals or in our educational experiences. They are the obstacles we face whenever we try to perceive something or whenever we try to achieve something that we are passionate about. They are the difficult moments that we encounter in our everyday today activities. We encounter these forces from all directions. Some from the people that we constantly interact with. Or some for people that we don't even know. But whether you know where it's coming from or not, the aim of these forces is to distract you so you don't achieve your ambitions. But let me tell you that regardless of the directions through which these forces come at you, you have an opportunity. You have an opportunity to realize that you shouldn't give up. You have the opportunity to realize that you are uniquely created different. You have the opportunity to realize that you are capable of achieving that ambition. You are capable of getting to that ambition. You have the opportunity to realize that you are strong enough not to allow any of these forces to devalue you. Realizing that it's about time you stop living to please people and stop living. I mean, it's about time you stop living to please people and start living to recognize your ambitions. Start living to recognize that you are, you are unique. Start living to recognize that you have you have the potential to achieve something you have that potential to achieve that ambitions that you set for yourself do not allow the forces of life to block you from getting to your ambitions 
as I said earlier on, the aim of these forces is to distract you so you don't get to your ambitions. But beloved, you are strong enough, you are capable not to allow these forces to devalue you. For the past few weeks, I've been spe speaking about the subject, uh, you are beautiful, you are unique, and you are special. It's about time you realize that you have all these potentials, so do not allow any forces that life throws at you to devalue you. We face so many forces in our lives. We face so many challenges in our lives. We face so many obstacles in our lives. Obstacles that pushes us to our limits. Obstacles that are easily, easily capable of influencing us to give up on whatever ambitions or whatever goals that we've set for yourselves or we set for ourselves. But beloved, as we are in the third month of the year 2017, realize that you are strong. Realize that you are special. Realize that you are unique. Realize that it's about time you start living to recognize your ambitions rather than living to please people. Do not live to please people. Live to please what you are passionate about. Live to please your ambitions. Live to focus on that aim that you set for yourself. That is the only way you can achieve them. So do not allow the forces of life to devalue you. Do not allow the forces of life to devalue you. My message to you is that you are special, you are unique, you are beautiful to achieve whatever ambitions that you've set for yourself. So you are capable of doing it. I thank you for joining me on today's series. Enjoy the rest of the week and be safe out there. I'll see you next week. Thank you and God bless you.